Hey Jamie, I'm Allie Pinshorn here with Holiday World in Alvarado. I'm standing inside the 06 Challenger and let me flip the camera, give you a quick tour, tell you a little bit about what we're going to cover, things that we're not, and just point out anything and everything you should know, good, bad, cosmetic, anything like that, so that you can kind of get a feel for the 06. All right, let's flip the camera. So first I'll start here at the front, then I'll kind of walk around the outside. Starting here at the front, you know, condition of the chairs, they are kind of got a little sticky something there. It's not sticky per se, but um, it's hard to say what happened there. Um, but I do like to show the condition of the chairs. There's no rips, uh, there's no major stains that I'm seeing, nothing like that. All look like in good condition there. Your blinds are all in good condition here. The windshield's in good condition. There's no chips or cracks. We can look at that when we get outside. Um, up under here is gonna be all your original books and paperwork, your big TV here, and then you've got your VCR, um, and it looks like a DVD player as well. Now I'll go ahead and fire up for you. There, that light will go off in a second. There it goes. Now over here, you've got all your mirror adjustments. There is 480, about 480 hours on the generator. Um, got all your dash fans, all the fog lights, all that good stuff. Coming over here, you do have an automatic leveling. That um, camera is not great, but it doesn't have the lines like you're seeing. It's just because it's an LCD display and that kind of messes with the phone's camera. So I'm actually getting a constant picture here. Um, it just, I know it doesn't really look like it, but I can't physically take a picture of it, unfortunately. Um, but it's, it's okay, it's not great, but it's good. It serves its purpose as a backup camera. I can see the unit behind me. You've got your radio here. And then as far as your dash goes, show how clean everything is up here. You've got a couple of cracks in this plastic here. Nothing crazy major, good airflow. Now, let me talk a bit about what we're going to cover and what we're going to check. And I'm gonna send you a picture of our checklist as well. So on our motorhomes, we have a 150 point check system, uh, inspection system. It's going to cover things from your dash air. It's going to cover your automatic leveling, your leveling jacks. Um, I believe it has automatic. Yeah, auto right there. Had to second guess myself for a minute. Um, it's gonna cover, of course, you know, the engine, make sure all that's good. The generator, uh, which does fire right up, we'll get to that. It's gonna cover your slides, um, batteries, your water heater, furnace, AC units. This one has two ACs. It's gonna cover a bunch of different mechanical things like that. Now, if there's um, any kind of major cosmetic issues, sometimes we can get those covered. I know currently this has just gone through PDI. PDI basically, or, or bas well, RC, an RC inspection. What an RC inspection does is they go through and evaluate and see what all it needs, then take it to management and get it, everything approved. So I'll try to check with management, see if there's anything cosmetic or otherwise that got approved that you might should know about, but you can rest assured everything that I'll show you on that sheet of paper is going to be covered. Um, it is going to be in working order. So you've got a nice couch here, very good leather, very clean, nothing on this that I need to show you. Um, underneath it does fold out to a bed that lifts up. Your shades here. Shades do have some stains on them. Um, it's typical for me to see even in a unit that's not... Let's shine some light here. <laughs> now, let's see. Yeah, see so that bulb needs to be worked. Um, let's see. There we go. So you've got a little bit of the fascia wood coming off here. I think you can see that. So those are things that I'll just have to see if that's going to be as is or not. Um, 
And then coming over here to the dinette, this does fold down into a bed. All this fabric is in excellent condition. Show me that. And you can always replace blinds and shades and you can put in black ones, you can put in roller shades. There's lots of different options you can do. These in particular, you can see there's a more of a solid and more of a screen to let a little bit of light in. All these cabinets up here, they're all passed through. So all that is one big storage and then all that is one big storage as well. Coming over here, you've got your little kind of coffee bar. Pantry space up here. Um, carpet is actually pretty clean. That's going to be a reflection. Oh, no, not quite a reflection of the light. It's got a little bit of color to it. Let me turn that off. Yeah, it's got a little bit of color to it there. Kind of a, but you know, carpets can always be replaced as well. This chair is in good condition. Uh, when I say good condition, no rips, stains, stairs, anything. Stairs? Stains. Rips, tears, or stains. There's one little stain there. See, I'm trying to be picky for you. <laughs> All right, and moving on to the kitchen area here. We'll make sure that you have good running water, hot water, water pump. All that's going to be working for you. Over your head. You've got your cabinetry there. It's going to come with a microwave here. We'll make sure all the kitchen appliances work. Three burner stove. And your oven. Space down here. Actually, pretty nice deep drawers here. And there's going to be under your sink. I like to show under here to try to show if there's been any kind of water leaks or anything like that. Um, no stains, nothing. That's coming off, but that's just the plastic trim that goes on there. So everything looks good under there. Coming over to the fridge, we'll make sure that the fridge is working and cool. Now, of course, um, not that we've seen anything crazy dirty, but uh, it will also come with, obviously, your batteries. It'll come with full propane. And then it'll also go through a, the wash bay and get a good clean inside and out. I'm sure they're going to try to shampoo. The, I'm sure they're going to shampoo the carpets as best they can. You know, get what they can, clean it up. Let me close this door so I can show you into the bathroom here. Over here is your water pump, your level test, so you can actually... That's something that they're probably working on there, getting that. That's going to be part of the PDI there, or the RC. And then you've got one of your slide-out controls here. This slide-out is going to be for this dining, um, dining and sofa slide. Now, looking around the bathroom here, hopefully not making you too dizzy. It's actually a very roomy, open bathroom. Um, lots of space to walk, if you can tell. Got a nice medicine cabinet here. We'll fix that light. Pretty good sized sink. I'd like to see that. Let's check under there. All that looks clean. I don't see anything that looks suspicious. Got your shower. Shower is very roomy. You don't have a lot of step up into it, and you do have a pretty big skylight, so you've got plenty of headroom, even if you are a little bit taller. And then that would latch like that while you're driving. I don't know if it's going to be part of what gets fixed or not, so it might be as is. You do have a little bit, you can see that it's coming up a little bit there. I'm not sure it looks to me because this is overlapping right here it looks to me like the pressure from the shower is actually pushing that tile outwards is that's what it looks like to me there there's definitely not a soft spot right there under the tile that is definitely solid i will attest to that over here is going to be your toilet room let's see if this 
Okay, that oh, well, helps turn on the light there. That might make the light work. Um, so you've got your fan. Get a little cubby here for toiletries, anything you might need. Your foot flush toilet. And there is a dividing door right here to close off the bathroom. And then, of course, you've got all your doors here. Let's, oh, you know what? Here's a light switch for that light as well. I just got to find the light switches. Now, coming into here, your slide controls are going to be located right here with your ceiling light. There is two slides to the bedroom. I want to go ahead and let you know that right now this slide, um, the button is not doing anything. It's just not operating. That'll be 100% covered under that um, inspection, under that 150 point inspection process we do. But right now as you're looking at the room, it's usually much more open. The pictures I have online show the room open that, so they give you a good idea of the space. So right now we're working with one slide open You've got actually a really nice mattress in here. I'm kind of jealous of this mattress. I'd steal it, but it wouldn't fit in mine. Overall, everything, there's your other AC. Those are all get cleaned, of course. There's speakers here. That's all one big giant pass-through. So you've got lots of room there. Your chairs, both of these are recliners, looks like. Those are clean cute little cubby there. Uh, right. We do have plugs on the side of the bed there. So you can see this wardrobe goes out about my arm length or so to give you an idea of how much more room you do normally have walking in here. And then in here is going to be all of your clothes storage. Let's see if I can get this to stay open for me and back up so you can kind of get a, and there is a light in there. So you can see you've got a pretty good storage space in there for your clothes and then lots of drawers all the way around. And these drawers are pretty deep there. You've got good storage space in here. try to show the size of that drawer a little bit because it is a pretty good size drawer. You've got your little TV in here. It does slide out. Of course, there's a little lever that you press, or not a lever, but you flick that. That way it slides out and you can have the TV there in the bedroom. I believe I've pretty much covered everything inside that you would need to know. Showed you kind of features, talked about what we've got going on here. Overall, very good condition. Um, I mean, you've got some cosmetic stuff, obviously. I wouldn't expect this to be mint condition um, for what it is, but it is in great running condition. We've got a few things that we're gonna t touch up with uh, our inspection process, make sure it's running good for you. Let's come outside, take a look at the outside, shut that, that goes right up in there. It's going to have new tires on it, so it is getting new tires. I'm gonna go over the windshield with you here. Hopefully you can see no chips, no cracks. It helps if I point the camera right. So everything's good there. So look into the engine. And of course, it'll have to pass inspection as well, so all that'll be good. You've got some fading to your decals, you can see right there. The fiberglass itself is in good condition. Plenty of storage bays all underneath here. Let me open a few of these for you. Now some of them are staying open like that one as they should be. You can see that one goes all the way to the other side. Around here, this is the slide that isn't open inside. That's the slide the wardrobe is on. Got your awning which we'll come back around and open up the awning. Ladder is unhinged right there. I'm going to think that's probably part of what we're going to go ahead and fix cosmetically, but I will confirm that um, before I make any kind of promises there. 
Got a little bit of, they probably backed into something, but it looks like it was fixed up pretty good. There's that backup camera there. Again, with the decals. So I just want to be transparent with you on all of that. Now, under here, this one does not stay open as it should. See, it wants to fall. Um, but that's going to be like where all your power is. I do have it hooked up to power right now. Coming around, you can see all the slides do have slide toppers, as they should on a motor coach. You get some more storage under there. That's going to be all your sewer lines. That's going to be your generator right there. All up underneath the slides. Alright, let's take a look at that awning and see if I can get that generator fired up. The handle, sometimes that opened really easy and sometimes it does not. It's just a little sticky. Okay. So we'll have to do a little work on that awning. You saw it kind of, the arm didn't want to go all the way out. Let me see if it's just the door I had in the way. That's very possible. Yep. I had the door in the way. So the door, make sure that the door is not in the way of the awning arm here. And the awning looks like it's in very good condition here. Let me zoom up for you. I'm looking for any kind of sun rot, rips, tears. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out the rest of the way. Let me zoom out again for you so you can see everything. Don't wanna go out too far just because of the motorhome next to us. This door is not in the way. There we go. Very good. All that checks out. That looks good. Your battery disconnect is going to be right here, by the way. That's going to be for the chassis. Now, coming over here to the generator. Prime it. Green. Started right up. I don't know if you could hear that, but let's go listen to it. Because I do want to show you that it started right up. everything on this challenger if you do have any other questions or if you feel like there's anything I missed please let me know I'd be more than happy to go over those things with you turn that off but overall you've got a nice driving unit it does drive pretty good drove it around the back myself and we checked it in if you have any other questions, anything like that, um, you do have me on Facebook. You can also contact me through my cell. It's 830-385-2474.